reported crimes continue to fall in the city of Houston. It fell in 2018 compared to the previous year. That goes for violent crimes as well, as well as property crimes. This is happening despite some factors. The population is increasing. Uh, we need hundreds of police officers patrolling our cities. Some will say close to a thousand or more. Notwithstanding all of those factors, uh, the men and women and of, of the Houston Police Department, they are doing an outstanding job. Crime is going down because of some factors too. Chief Acevedo and his department are working smarter and harder, concentrating on problem issues and problem places as crime pattern changes. For the first two years, Violent crime was up 16% in the Turner administration. Rapes were up a stunning 39%. Sylvester recently announced that we have preliminary data that shows there's been a 10% decrease in violent crime. The actual data behind that hasn't been released. Even if that's correct, that means that violent crime was up 6% since he took office. Nearly 300 positions have been cut out of the Houston Police Department in total. We promised that this time we would have 800 new police officers and we're actually down. We've got no tolerance on even the smallest crimes. It's a whole <clears throat> different way of policing that's been proven to work in various cities <clears throat> that dramatically decreases crime, mm -hmm. dramatically. Like, it's not, I'm not talking about 10%, I'm talking about 40%. Data and studies will show you that people that will commit small crimes are typically the people that will commit larger crimes. Typically, a police department, 60% of the, the police officers are on the streets we're upside down, we only have 40% of ours, so we're gonna have to get more people out from behind desks and out of offices and back on the street. When there's a police presence in your community, it does, in fact, decrease crime. And obviously, the, 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 the follow-on to that is a police presence where the police are actually interacting with, with the resident. Part of it includes encouraging and incentivizing officers to live in the areas in which they patrol to make sure the officers look like folks that live in the areas which, in which they patrol. Well, that's part of the comp stat uh, process. And uh, it's been proven, uh, like I say, uh, to make a dramatic, dramatic change in, in uh, crime.